Hello, hi there, gorgeous Sagittarians. I do hope that you all well and welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Bella, and most people know me as Bella the Secret Psychic, and how I do my readings here on YouTube is with the help of my spirit guides. Um, I'm also one not to waste too much time, so I like to jump right in. But just before I do that, if you'd like to know more about me, just look at the links below, do comment, do share, do like as well. So this is your love horoscope for October 2017. And how my guides want to start this reading is a little bit like this. So they are pretty much saying here, like I get really nice energy this month and it is actually overall a really good energy month in October. Kind of started off in September, but really, really is glowing, I think, when it comes to the energies in October and particularly when it comes to your love life. You're basically my guides saying you are going to be in flow things are smooth you are floating down that river you're not going up against current perhaps how you was you know a few couple of months ago and like like i really get this sense of you feeling cleansed you feeling like you can breathe you're feeling that stresses or arguments have kind of died away and things are just in the flow and I think this will transfer into all areas of your life, not just your love life. It's just, I just get this relaxed and probably for the first time you're starting to trust, my guides are saying, that you can feel contented when it comes to your love life. Perfect, basically. So basically, you can relax, I feel, quite a lot with your inner connection, whether you are single and looking. My guides are saying here, the energy this month supports you in moving forward. It supports you from, like they really want to stress you are coming out of any rocky waters that you may have been in. And that you really need to give yourself the opportunity to relax your mind from your thought forms. And to not be paranoid or to be worried that your that past things are going to repeat themselves in no matter which way they play out. But also that's important also if you're single too. And it's not that you'll manifest anything if you don't do that. It just means that you just have a better and much more relaxed time as you go down the flow with the energy that's so supportive from you. Because it feels like and some of you may have had this sort of energy and this kind of relaxation as you got to the end of September, but you d it just manifests and gets bigger so that you feel a lot more secure and certain in your existing connections, particularly if they've been a bit rocky, because the worst is over, basically. And I also get here, um, October, for most signs, if you're single, is a really good month to really capitalise on meeting connections that have true depth to them and have some long-termness and i would say for sagittarius is the first couple of weeks is a really beautiful time to really capture that kind of energy in a very supportive way so that you are nurturing or going into a nurtured kind of relationship and connection overall i just get here for all sagittarius this is a new start so if you're single, it's a new start because you're going to meet a person that has true depth and meaning and means long-termness. If you're in an established connection, it is a new start. And they're being very specific about it. It's a new start from what you've been experiencing in a connection. For those who are married, there's a lot more, like it feels like renewal of things. So this could be literal for some of you about wanting to renew your vows. and But it just feels like this is together, togetherness. Because sometimes in any relationship, not, not let alone a marriage, people can get complacent or lazy or take people for granted or forget to date or do things together. And there is a real effort in the first couple of weeks of you and that significant other, married or otherwise, really making time for each other. And the thing is, I get for some of you where there was a bit of a rocky path with connections that was established but also how then other people probably knew about <laughs> the trouble between you either because you shared it or you know they shared it that 
let's just say there's some gossip probably that people are thinking, oh, because of all that trouble, surely it's not going to work. The thing is, people only ever hear about one side of a relationship, don't they? They don't hear about all of it. And when it's going good, sometimes people forget to fill in other people that actually we are in a better place and it's got better. Does that make sense? Um, so for other people, they seem to be gossiping about, you know, whether this is like a falsehood or, or are they back together or, or is it working well? Because I heard last week or last month or two months ago that this happened. I just know that it's kind of going on and it might be that actually you need to make it a lot more known to people that actually you are good. And I get for some of you, you probably put that off because of waiting until you felt it was certain. Well, in this month, you feel like it's certain, is what I want to say. So you can start to vocalise that without the feeling that you might get egg on your face, basically. I think there's a real deep understanding, basically, that stuff happens in relationships. And what is the strength of a relationship is how you overcome them together. If you're single, gossip is still true because you might have been single for extended time. And for whatever reason, friends people are gossiping you again too because the connection that you meet in this month because it's a really good month you can gush about basically you can feel like you want to tell people put it on Facebook or whatever you want because actually that person is making you feel very secure straight away so you don't need to waste any time you can tell people and be proud about it I get here in the third week there is just a lot of reflection from you in terms of it being now October and you know where your love life has come to the roads you've taken the good the bad and the ugly but also that part of that reflection there is a real deep understanding that it shaped you to be the person that you are in this moment as you watch this video and actually how grateful you are despite any bumps in the road and some of them big bumps that you are on the other side of it but also a little bit wiser and definitely grateful. And there is a conscious decision, my guys are saying here, about how you emotionally approach your connections in a romantic nature going forward because of that newfound knowledge and experience, which only actually adds to improving existing or new connections because of that wisdom. So, for example, you know, if you allowed somebody in the past, um, particularly if you've been dating, you've been single, to actually just be with you and then ghost you and then they they got, got under your skin and then perhaps you called them 10 times a day because actually it was frustrating you or they were emotionally triggering for you, that actually you'll have a reflection that that wasn't good for them and it definitely wasn't good for you. And so your emotional approach in new connections will be completely different. Self-serving to you. In the utmost but also brings about a better type of connection because you just recognize those who are not good for you if that makes sense in the last week i get here devotion my guides are saying here things again this whole month i'm talking about it but it just feels like everything flows beautifully i get to proposals for some people i get here just like devotion words of commitment doing i get here that the other person that you're with or newly with is really reflecting about their part, particularly if that person was the one that kind of caused some problems. They, in that last week, really, really, really spend a lot of time reflecting and have a bit of self-awareness and a bit of an awakening. And they start to feel extremely grateful and also start to think about the things that they can do at an emotional and practical level to really show you that to really make sure that this is fixed, how they can also to emotionally change their behaviour. It's all good. Everything beautifully goes in the flow for you. And I, and I feel for Sagittarius, this will go, this will extend this beautiful flow into all areas of your life. So I really do hope that's helped you today. I've been Benno, and again, if you'd like to know more about me and my services, just look, look at the links below. Or perhaps you'd like to join me at my Facebook page. Also, the link is also down below, where I also do um, live um, sort of readings or live daily draw card guidance um, for those who want to join me there too. 
So I do hope that that has helped people there today watching me and I hope to hear from you again. You take care. Bye.